I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Joining me now is Dr. Rhonda Glover-Reese. Dr. Reese, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course, and you have such an impressive resume. You served in the FBI for over 30 years, and now you're a law enforcement coach. So you are the perfect expert for this story. I'm excited to get your expertise here on some big news. A former FBI informant was charged last week with, quote, making a false statement and, quote, creating a false and fictitious record, allegedly about claims regarding President Joe Biden and his family's business dealings. When you hear this, with your background in the FBI, what do you think we need to know? Well, you know, we really need to know the the reason behind the sources' efforts. So one of the things with working sources, sources have agendas. There are some sources that they want to provide information to get money. There are some sources that provide information because they just want to do good. But the key thing is to understand that sources have agendas. And sometimes it will take a while to really understand what their agenda is. And sometimes you may never understand what their agenda is. That's why it's so important to be very intentional about the information that you receive from that source. And when I was a street agent, I truly understood that you could you, you can't trust sources you just you, you got to be very very careful with working with sources and even trusting them can you walk us through the process of first finding a source working a source having that source be yours what is this whole experience like well it can be it can be very daunting particularly as a new agent when a new agent is coming in they understand immediately that they have to get sources. It's all part of that information cycle. You want to connect with people that have information that can assist you with opening cases. It can assist you in moving that case forward. And so it's a, you're really using your communication skills when you are looking to get a source. There are different ways that you can get a source. You can connect with a senior agent that has numerous sources and he or she just, you know, they're source heavy. They have too many sources to work because they have other cases. And so they may be interested in having you co-handle that source with them so they could pass that source on to you. So that's one way an individual would get a source, that uh, an agent can take a look at closed files of, a so of sources that have been closed because people operate sources differently. People engage sources differently and they communicate with them differently. So a source may have been closed because they, they weren't responsive to that agent. So that doesn't mean. No, go so, ahead. So that doesn't mean. Yeah, let me finish this one because this is good. So, so that doesn't mean that that source wasn't any good. It may mean that that source just didn't like that agent. And so, going to close files and looking to see whether there are, there are other sources available to connect with. That's one way of getting getting a source. I'm interested about what the barometer is here to judge a source. How do you know if a source is good, A, and B, the uh, the special counsel, counsel says that this informant uh, made false statements, was essentially lying. So when you're working a source, how do you parse through what they're saying and how do you tell, hey, that's a false statement and separating that from the truth? Well, first of all, I never trusted sources. And the agents that I worked with and agents that mentored me and my supervisor, you don't, you don't, you just don't, you don't trust them. You get the information, you write it up and you work it. You work that information, you dissect it, you vet it, and you work to see whether this information is credible. So you're not going in accepting that information. That's a bad way to go. 
you have to you you take the information you dissect it you do you do your due diligence to determine whether this is good information that can lead you to open it open a case or just lead you to different areas where you can you could talk to other agents about it you know hey i've got this information have you heard about this before or there's so many other things that you can do but the key thing is don't 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 trust them <laughs>